And I asked the neurologist, what did that mean? You know, what does that mean for Bryce's life? He basically pulled out an encyclopedia, a book that he had, and read to me uh, what, what that book told him about Fragile X. A local mother's son is diagnosed with a genetic disorder, seemingly having little knowledge of what the disease is. The doctor reads the definition straight from a medical book. Now that mother is fighting to spread awareness and create a support group for victims of Fragile X. At 21 months, Bryce loves to snuggle, is full of energy, and is quite the social butterfly. But when it comes to expressing himself, his speech is a little delayed, and his fine motor skills haven't fully developed. See, he inherited a genetic disorder called Fragile X. I didn't find out about Fragile X until he was diagnosed at 12 months old. Fragile X can cause anything from mild learning disabilities to severe mental retardation. It's triggered by a gene mutation that interferes with a specific protein in the brain. Having FX means a life full of special education, including speech, occupational, and behavioral therapy, since there's no cure. I was scared. I was hurt. Um, all of the expectations that you have as a parent about your child going off to school, growing up, being able to be successful in life, all of that just came crashing down. But Jillian is not alone. FX affects roughly 1 in 2,000 boys and 1 in 4,000 girls. Yet many of those parents are left with little devices because a lot of pediatricians just aren't familiar with the symptoms. Doctors say they're getting these children far too late. Most children aren't diagnosed with FX until they're three. But knowing your family history can give you an edge. Know our family history uh, uh, is important because that is how we can anticipate things that might happen to us or to our children. And many of those things can be prevented. Dr. Jose Martinez says knowing your family history leads to an earlier diagnosis, and that's crucial for treatment. It's also helpful for parents who might be at risk for having a child with the disorder. Jillian had no idea her dad was a carrier, so her second son, Bryce, was born with FX. And while her expectations for him have changed, they still remain very high. I have bigger dreams for Bryce now, and um, I know that he'll get there. He may need a little bit more assistance, but uh, he'll get there. He will definitely go on to college. Well, this Wednesday is Fragile X Awareness Day. To further the cause, Jillian is holding a group forum to spread the word about the disorder. It's free. It's going to be held at Pump It Up, the facility on Hillcrest Road from 5 until 7 p.m., a senior genetics nurse from the University of South Alabama will be the guest speaker.